Hey! What up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here tonight. This is going to be an edition of STS Radio. Uh, where we're going to be uh, basically running down the TLC pay-per-view coming up. Uh, this was like an, an awesome show. Uh, honestly, I, I think that uh, when the WWE Network first kicked in, they basically said that they were going to be giving us all of the WWE pay-per-views for, I guess, for free if you pay the nine ninety nine a month. Uh, I think a lot of people were thinking that basically these were going to turn into editions of just an extra Monday Night Raw somewhere along the way. Uh, wrestling is really packed up uh, for the next couple of weeks. You know, it just seems like Survivor Series was almost yesterday. And here we are, Sunday is already going to be TLC. Of course, we had the Slammies on Monday. They filmed uh, SmackDown tonight as well as Tribute for the Troops. They always like to get a whole lot of stuff into the uh, tank, uh, basically to give the guys a little bit of time off to share the holiday spirit with their family. Even though they, they call most of them back on Christmas Day to have a show. I can't remember if this year it's in... Madison Square Garden in New York City, or it's going to be in Chicago. I remember that it's in one or the other. I've heard some people talk about they're going to this show. Um, I know the face uh, that my wife makes when basically I tell her that uh, I'm going to be going to Santa Clara for the week uh, for WrestleMania 31. And uh, basically, you know, next year we will be heading to Dallas. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what that face would be if I told her that I am uh, going to the Garden to see... Uh, WWE. That that is probably a conversation that I, I will never want to have. I can remember uh, the Sacramento Kings uh, played a, uh, a a game on Christmas against the Dallas Mavericks a few years ago. Of course, this when the Sacramento Kings were still a, a big highlighted team in the league that they would get uh, that kind of a spotlight on them uh, for for a big game. But um, I ended up uh, turning those tickets down, even though it was with my dad. I just didn't want to uh, slight uh, my wife's family or my family. Or, you know, I didn't want to like grandma time. You know, I, I got I to gotta, I gotta be a million places at once. And on Christmas, uh, I think the best place to be, be is uh, with some of your family. But you know what? We're almost into that Christmas time. We're already taking orders at my work. People uh, ordering up all sorts of crazy things. Uh, prime ribs, turkeys, hams. You need anything, you come see me. I'll take care of you. Uh, people are already getting into the holiday spirit that... Uh, TLC, to me, honestly, the last few years, it's been really hard for me to get into uh, December wrestling. It just, there's so much things going on. You're being torn from one direction to the other to the next. And um, there's been a, a lot of news uh, this month, basically, from the CM Punk podcast, which we'll talk about later on during one of the matches. I'm going to bring that up, just basically saying that, you know, this is not good public relations right now, what they're doing. Um, but, um, I don't know. I've kept my interest in wrestling. Basically, a lot of times I just take December off. I was surprised when I went through the archives of my uh, YouTube channel, uh, Stevie Breach, uh, that I don't really have that many reviews on TLC pay-per-views. And when I was trying to think back over last year's uh, 2013 uh, TLC event, of course, that was headlined by Randy Orton and John Cena going after the uh, unification of the World Heavyweight and the WWE Championship. I don't even think I watched the show. <laughs> um, I, honestly, I guess I just read the spoilers or I, I did what I did. And uh, I have no clue. Uh, you know, when CM Punk was talking about his match against The Shield, uh, then there was also Daniel Bryan going up against uh, the Wyatts, uh, both in handicapped three-on-one matches. I had no memory of those. And when I went back and watched them, I was like, man, I have no clue what's going down. But uh, I remember uh, last uh, month's Survivor Series, which I think was two weeks weeks ago might have been three at the most um uh you know i was looking at the card before it went up and i was like man this is a really good main event and then it has some matches on there that i really just don't really care about that much they didn't really put a whole lot of build into this somehow uh they went from five matches uh to nine i know that that main event was 45 minutes long before sting uh came out and ended it up uh by um taking out Triple H and then rolling over Seth Rollins and putting uh, Dolph Ziggler on top to be the ultimate survivor uh, for Team Cena to get the win. Of course, that sent the authority away. Uh, we saw them on Monday Night Raw the next night, and we haven't seen them uh, since. I was kind of surprised that they didn't win some sort of a slammy and sort of have an excuse to be on to the show last night. We didn't see um, the Raw GM. I guess that's the direction that, that WWE's not going to be going in. Uh, maybe that, I guess that really was just a one-time thing. Maybe that was something they 
listened to the fans and saw that uh, nobody really was uh, reacting uh, to the computer. John Cena really shut it down, didn't really pay any attention to it during the uh, Seth Rollins thing when they came back from commercial that it announced two matches. And, um, you know, it was just off to the races from there, and we never heard or saw from the anonymous GM again. I, I'm hoping uh, more than likely, especially with uh, Monday uh, being the return of Chris Jericho, uh, with that, he's going to be the Raw GM uh, for a night, or the guest host, however it's going to be. I don't know if he's bringing Fozzie with him, or if he's just going to be himself. I know that when Chris Jericho has talked about, you know, he is coming back to WWE, it's not going to be today, it's not going to be tomorrow on his podcast. He says that, you know, he, he knows that he's coming back, and he knows that when he does come back, he's going to come back a way that nobody's ever come back before. Um, I was really thinking that maybe they shouldn't have killed off the Bray Wyatt versus Jericho feud, maybe Maybe Bray Wyatt should have just uh, just randomly uh, gone out, attacked Jericho at maybe one of his concerts, uh, put him in a burlap sack, and brought him to Monday Night Raw. Like, forced him to return. I think that was probably one of the best ways that we've ever seen somebody return. Uh, especially, like, a guy like Jericho that comes and goes with his pleases. So many times you, you have the guy just come out of the back, they play his Jumbotron, they play his music, and he comes walking down, and he's, here I am, let's do this. But here a competitor actually goes out into the real world, grabs this guy, uh, and brings him back. Uh, when I look at the card... Um, I think this is going to be a really good show. I've had a lot of fun watching these shows, um, being able to actually watch it on my television instead of in the in the, in the past having to stream these shows, being forced to sit in front of my computer uh, like this and and try to keep track of um, how to type on Twitter and, and keep it and up to date with what everybody else is seeing and doing. Uh, but you got nine matches on this show. Um, for some reason, WWE.com has it make it look like the biggest match of the night is uh, Nikki Bella versus AJ. Uh, but you also get the TLC match, Dean Ambrose against Bray Wyatt. Uh, you get your tables match, John Cena versus Seth Rollins. Ryback versus Kane in your chairs match. Uh, the Miz and Miz Dow is going to be going up against the Usos. Uh, that's going to be course for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Rowan versus Show in the big steel stair match. That one's going to be a big one. Uh, Intercontinental Championship in a, on a ladder match. Luke Harper against Dolph Ziggler. Of course, you have the the re rematch of uh, Rusev going up against Swagger, and then your pre show match of the night is the New Day uh, going up against Gold and Stardust, the Dust Brothers. Two tag team matches featured on this show. It's not the rebirth of a tag division, but hopefully we can look and see that if it really starting uh, to grow to something. But uh, I don't know. In, in the next little bit, hopefully it's going to be an hour, next uh, n next couple of uh, segments here. We're going to be talking about all of these matches and going through them, through and through. Hopefully you guys will sit along for the ride and we'll get all, our, uh, get all of our uh, info out to everybody. So sit tight. It's going to be a good little long one. Peace out, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.